they make it in time here yeah. well, maybe for they can make it some um, friendlies or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They couldn't make it in time for the tournament. The money but matches. Okay. Okay. So we have Cephalon versus Kem. All right. Is this okay? Yeah. There's. Oh, it's Kem. Okay. Kem. Yeah. Like, like chemicals. Chemical. Yeah. For Kem some reason, I thought I heard Kim. Kim. Yeah. Kem is a chemical. Man, it looks like. Anyway, here we go. Oh, so another Ness. So Kem plays Ness. Let's see if he. That's why we call it Lotus City, man. <laughs> that's it, and that's the reason why it's Lotus City. It's true. But I think Ness is. Not low tier, but he's still good. Yeah, Ness definitely is not low tier yeah. in my book. Yeah, maybe in melee, but he's good in this game. Maybe in melee, but yeah. in this you game, melee. this is not melee. Let's go. Let's go. Roy is our boy. Cephalon's checking his pocket. He had the president text him. He was like, I need you to do a clean match. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to go straight into All this right, first match. We have Burn. Cephalon with Roy up against Kem using Ness here. Now, Cephalon... Is probably another favorite yeah. to win the tournament here um, this evening. Already taking it straight to Kem with these amazing combos, just keeping Kem in the air. And will he get the edge guard? Oh man, that was and beautiful! You can definitely tell that Cephalon has edge guarded Ness uh, a few times. Yeah, it, that is not his first rodeo. And here we go. Now here's Kem's opportunity. Let's see what he has in store. Drops the combo, giving another opportunity to Cephalon, who's just wow. He's just forcing this Ness off stage. He's literally evicting him from his own home as we speak. <laughs> I mean, he said you didn't pay like three months' rent already. <laughs> you gotta get out. You gotta <laughs> yeah, get out. Please. You gotta go. <laughs> and that was it. The marshal just I came in. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care where you go. He's got to get out of here. <laughs> Just get out of here, man. Get but yeah, here. We're going to go straight back into it. And good Mojo job. back throw the re -grab. Yes, those DI mix-ups with the down throw and the fourth throw. That's that one nice. of Roy's strengths. Amazing stuff. Catching Staff him, missing off. the tech. Oh, here's another opportunity for Ken again. Nice attempt. Trying to get the edge guard, but it looks like Cephalon is still back on stage. Oh, very unfortunate. Probably an executional error on his part. Um, Let's see what happens with... Kem's final stock here. Any adjustments going to be made? Smart DI by Cephalon and also using the get at the fact. Man, he's really using good use for that side B. Oh, yeah. Every uh, and that's the funny thing. Side B usually might be generally uh, viewed as a, you know, an unsafe move. But if you use it smartly, yeah. like Cephalon is. Yeah, he's just interrupting his up B. Oh, this could be it. That w you know what I really like about Cephalon there? Since Ness's recovery is just so good, they usually overshoot the edge whenever yeah. they're recovering. So you can just confidently sit there and charge that blazer, you know? Yeah. Because, because uh, wait, Flare Blade. Yeah. Because, yeah. Flare oh, blade. don't worry, I corrected myself. <laughs> he got it. But yeah, flare, um, the, he could charge the Flare Blade, you know, confidently because yeah. he knows the opponent's going to overshoot the edge. You might as well just stay there. And if he misses because he sweet spotted whatever, he's back. they're back in neutral, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. He probably could just turn around and grab him. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, here we go, guys. <laughs> nice. I like that. Just repositioning himself after he knocked the Ness off stage to set up for a potential edge guard opportunity. That's nice. And here we go again. Just carrying him off stage. I love this about. Look at that, that aggressive edge guard. Yeah. He has to do that against Ness. Oh. Cephalon's out of shield game is very good. Yep. He's so clean. He knows his spacing really good, too. See, the difference between Austin and Kem is every time Austin got a uh, hit or a big fire, he definitely capitalized better. Nice. Look at Cephalon go. Oh, oh. my gosh. He knows his character. And it's funny, I've seen videos of Cephalon play all the time, but, but to see this live, it's different live. Yeah, it's it's something it's else, man. It's different live. It's an amazing experience. Just look at it's it. Definitely, play. It's definitely a different live. And he's currently at four stocks with 56% here on Distant Planet. I'm wondering if he picked the stage so that he can live longer with Ness. Maybe he wanted more space to set up a neutral? Probs probably, right? Yeah. There? Okay, good. I like that. Just forcing him off stage with multiple fares. And that's it. Wow, he even got further than I thought, like closer to the ledge. Man. Now, here we go. Cephalon currently four stock still. Stock? Is he going to get hit yet? Me? <laughs> he hit the rain? Okay, okay. He heard me. He heard me. This <laughs> might be Kev's opportunity for us to get a hit. Okay, okay. I, I, we see you, Kev. A potential stock even. Oh, no. Okay. Nice guy, Cephalon. 
Nice guy, Seth. Oh, no. The other way. That was oh. really smart on his part. Beautiful counter and a four stock victory. Two eight stocks. Going to Seth Long. Eight stocks. The first eight stock on stream.